welcome to my channel do not forget to subscribe like and comment below and please click the bell icon for more notification so this is the dress which i will be sewing in a video and this is the final product it looks elegant beautiful and you can carry it anywhere oh my god my attitude <laughs> being a designer is amazing you can sew anything you like so this is the final product which i have sewn so keep watching the video so even you will get this plus size dress sewn easily and we can get it confidently thank you now keep watching So this is a newspaper, Urdu newspaper I'm using. Well, I did not have any other paper. So length is 15 inches of the bodice. You can see I'm taking 15 inches. Usually, uh, this is a plus size, so I will take 15 inches. And the shoulder would be 7.5 inch. This a shoulder and armhole would be the half of the accurate measurement. And armhole I'm taking 8 inches. okay and the bust is whatever your bust is divide by y4 oh my god my tongue so whatever your bust measurement is divide by 4 and add an ease so i'm adding uh, 0 0.75 inch ease and for the waist do the same whatever the waist measurement divide by 4 and add ease do not add seam allowance as of now please because I've always mentioned seam allowance is something different. And now I will, uh, from shoulder to bust, it's 10 measurement. And so now I will make a point where there is a bust length from shoulder to bust. And the gap from one bust point to the other is 4 inches. And then below the bust point, I will be. I will be a marking dot and half inches dot on both sides so it will give me one inch dot so when you are reducing one inch because of darts do not forget to add one more inch extra to the bodice now I'm increasing half inch to the bodice why because and take the half of the corner I'm a little weird in explaining however I'm trying my best so uh, in the corner in the same uh, corner side you can see I took the half that is a 3 and because this is the French seam allowance that is a side seam side dot so not seam allowance it's side dot and then my Front body is all set to go. Now my back bodice is also ready. So now you have, I will show you what's the difference. In back bodice, the armhole is a little outer part. First, take the half of the waist that would be around 5.5 or 5.2 and then make a dot of one inch i do not forget to add one inch again and the you can see uh, in the front borders armhole is actually inside so this is my front borders i will cut the armhole always remember do not just go ahead and cut the armhole because when it is a customized dress when you are sewing a dress arm front armhole is always in and the back borders armhole is always little out and i cut and now here i've already drafted uh, my armhole 
for this armhole video i will come up with a separate you know oh uh, here my dad comes so in short take a, a half of your armhole and with seam allowance and the length of the sleeves i'm taking three fourth sleeves okay so that would be 15 inches i will definitely make a separate tutorial in regards to this um sleeve video sleeve pattern third video so this is the curve um i you hardly i use it but uh, trust me it helps a lot whenever we are drafting a pattern because sometimes our curve is not accurate so this is the tool which will help us in drafting perfect so now i will work on with the back borders i will be marking the neck width that is three uh, i am taking four inches my mom won't little wider and then the length of the neck would be three inches so this is the back border so i have to cut in the middle so i will be using zip it's a zipper borders and now in front again neck width would be four inches and the length is eight inches I sooner I will come up with an individual video with details how this neck pattern or you know how you know, neck with this calculated how everything and now here I have uh, now here I took a uh, one inch drop to the shoulder till neck width one inch drop when you a lot this is what the result is my machine is under so we have come to the mechanic trying to get it repaired almost done how much done so here is here is the cut out of the pattern on the fabric so this is the back borders in between there is a cut for a zip in the middle of the dress i mean and uh, there is my dots are ready yes and this is the front borders dots is ready on both the side and only neck work is left so you can see the dot in the corner and in the from the waist so it will give nice bust shape when you wear a dress when you're giving these two type of darts and this is my neckline or neck design ready on the canvas all I have to sew and cut and this is for the back borders I don't think so I will use for back borders. Let's say So it's fun time to sew da 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 in meanwhile there is a Salman Khan who comes in You can see Salman Khan in my video Yeah Ta ta da Ding 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 He doesn't even move Okay So now my sewing take place I keep sewing 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 See, this is the style. He using my mani queen. So here I have sewn the buckles. That two buckle in the front and two in the back. So you know I can use a belt, and the belt is sewn by the same fabric. So if you want to keep this dress loose, so definitely, or if you want to tighten up, so you can use a belt. Oh, what a logic! Okay, this is the final dress ready. Now I will be uh, reviewing about the dress. Here is the pleat. So this is a single pleat. And this is V-neck bodice. And then there is a waist belt. However, it has been stitched and there is a knot. You can see here. So here is the belt and the 
दिस इज वॉट टैसल तो लटकिन कहते हैं टैसल आई हैव सोन सो दिस इज फॉर द प्लस साइज सो दैट इज वाई आई एडेड मो क्लोथ्स इन टू इट एंड एक्स्ट्रा पैड एंड बैक ऑफ द ड्रेस यूर इट इज अ जिप आई नीड टू अटैच हुक्स सो यूर इज अ जिप so my dear friends do not forget to subscribe my channel and please do not forget to click the bell icon so you will get the more notifications about my fashion sewing stay tuned